What does the Bible say about our love for one another? If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. And above all these things put love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Let love be genuine, abhor what is evil, hold fast to what is good. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friend. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. Call to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. I made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known, that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand.
shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the laws and the prophets. I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. See what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called the children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Finally, all of you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not loved, I gain nothing. If 
I have prophetic power and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but I have not loved, I have nothing. out of death into life because we love the brothers whoever does not love abides in death one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. first loved us.